Earlier, when I tried to do this live stream from Zoom, it wasn't working and it just went to like a dead screen with nothing in it. So I uh, actually shot my, my subject that I wanted to talk to you about as a video and I was waiting for it to render so I could upload it. And I did a little troubleshooting and found out that, well, I'm not sure if this will work for everyone, but what I did was I first of all confirmed in my Zoom settings, let me show you what I did. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so in my Zoom settings, the, the two steps I just took to make this work is I went into account management and then account settings. And then way, 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 way down towards the bottom, it asks for right here. I guess it's like two thirds of the way down right here, allow live streaming. So I made sure that this was still on because of course, if this wasn't on, that would have caused an error. And then the other thing I did was I went over to the group, the illumination group, and then I went into settings and I came down here with apps and I already had Zoom in there as an app. But what I did was I figured that whatever happened happened recently because I was doing this, what's today, Tuesday. I think I did a live, no, I didn't do a live stream yesterday. I did one on Friday. So something happened in the last few days. So what I did was I just removed Zoom and then I added Zoom back in and just did a test and bingo, here we are and it's live. So again, I'm not positive if that's gonna work for everybody, but that is what worked for me. <clears throat> so now let me show you what it was I wanted to talk about today which is I wanted to talk to you about how to integrate information that is collected on forms and pop-ups and things in ClickFunnels. And how do you get that information from ClickFunnels over to your CRM? And your CRM, in this case, I'm using Infusionsoft. I also have Keep Pro. Uh, I, used, I had a, a sample or a test version, trial version of ActiveCampaign. And I've done a couple other different CRMs for testing purposes, just so that I can see how they work, so I can talk about it with a little bit of knowledge. So today I'm going to show you in ClickFunnels, how do you integrate so that the information that people put in on your landing page or your sales page or whatever page you have in ClickFunnels, how does that get over into your CRM so that you can then follow up and nurture, and in some cases, maybe even deliver the lead magnet if it was a PDF or something like that. Okay, so here we are in ClickFunnels, and I know that, um, hold on a second, there we go. Okay, so I know that, uh, you all know that last week I did my uh, automation challenge. So this was the landing page that I had in ClickFunnels. And let me just show you it. This is, this is what it looks like. If you clicked on the link, I posted it in Facebook and I posted it in LinkedIn and I think I sent it in an email. So wherever that link was, when somebody clicked on the link, they came over here to the landing page and then when they clicked on register now, they get the pop-up. Now, even though that is technically a pop-up, it is also a form. And it, the form has three fields. In this case, it has three fields. It has first name, last name, and email, and then a button that tells that, that you push to say, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. This is, that's everything. So that's how it looks to you in the, out in the real world. Over here, where we build it in ClickFunnels, that form that you see right here, like that, that is called a pop-up. And in ClickFunnels, it's right here, and you can click on edit the settings. Now, here is where you would put in the fields that you want to have the information for on, on this form. And then when they click on here, you could see it says submits the page. Now, submits the page is important because only the act of submitting the page actually gathers whatever information is on the screen. So if you have a pop-up like this, 
and they put in their email address and their name and you have this button instead of submitting the page you have it going out to like a schedule page or any other page if you have it do anything other than submits the page then even though they typed it in it's not being submitted meaning it's not being collected and it won't be it won't be able to be stored either in ClickFunnels or in Infusionsoft or Keep or Active Campaign. So you always have to have submits the page as the button activity, the, bu the, bu the button action. Otherwise, it's not really collecting it. Okay, so we do have that set to submit the page. Now, that's called a form because it is technically a form, but over in Keep or Infusionsoft in this case, they also have a form. Now, because you can see that's one of the goals here, web form submitted. And because this is being submitted on a web page, and the web page is technically this landing page. So I go in here and I create that goal, which means when somebody fills out that challenge sign up form, that goal has been achieved and that's going to start this automation. Now this form, it's right here in Infusionsoft or Keep, but really it's running over here in ClickFunnels. But I am mirroring the data that's going to be collected because it's where it, I want it to end up in Keep. So I set up the form fields here in Keep. And then up at the top, you see this code and you choose the HTML code unstyled. And then you just click there to copy it. Now, over here in ClickFunnels, it's where we're going to use that code. On the settings drop down here, the first one is integrations. Now, I'm going to remove this so I can show you how we create it. When, when you first start any funnel, there's no integrations on any page. You have to choose them. You also, when you set up your ClickFunnels account, you connect it to uh, whatever other systems you want. Uh, ClickFunnels to be able to work with. I did have a trial version of Active Campaign, so that still shows. I haven't removed that yet. And then I have Infusionsoft. And you could have other apps also that you want to integrate with it. But we're going to go with Infusionsoft because that's what I'm using. And then from the drop down, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to choose Infusionsoft. And I'm going to show you why because this doesn't make any sense like that is isn't. we're not going to want to do that and what happened over i'd say about two and a half three years ago this integration with infusionsoft stopped working reliably now conversely the active campaign integration actually is reliable at least at last count it is reliable so if you're using active campaign you can choose it right here and if you're using Constant Contact or MailChimp or other types of CRMs, if you integrate them with your ClickFunnels account, you'll be able to choose them from the dropdown. If you're using Keep or Infusionsoft, don't choose them because it's not reliable. In that case, choose this HTML form. And remember the HTML code over here, that's what we just copied. So then what you do is you say, okay, I'm doing a Null means not a specific company. So in other words, it's not active campaign and it's not MailChimp. It's it's an empty company because it could be anything. HTML is universal. It's not specific to any one app. So in this action dropdown, you select integrate an existing form and the existing form is over in Infusionsoft. So right here, it opens up a box and it says, OK, paste your HTML code in here. And remember, all I did was click right here to copy it. And then I come over here and I paste it now because nothing can ever be easy in technology. The code that comes out of Infusionsoft or Keep includes these script uh, code lines after the fact we want to stop at the form all we really want in this box is the code that relates to the form so what you do is you look until you see this slash form which means that's the end of the form code and then you just delete all the rest of the code that's below it all right and then down here you are going to just match it up and say okay i have an input field of first name on the pop-up where do you want that to go 
and you're going to say, I want it to go, I want the first name here in ClickFunnels to go to the first name in Keep. I want the last name here to go to the last name in Keep. And I want the email from here to go to the email in Keep. And now the last step down here is at the bottom, because you're using HTML code, if you don't have something else in this code, it's going to stop right there. So in order to make sure that it rolls to the ne next page, the, either the next page in the funnel, which is 90% of what is the right answer, or sometimes instead of it rolling to the next page in the funnel, you want it to go to some other URL or some other page in the funnel. So this code right here is it's defaulting to whatever the code is for the next page in your funnel. And like I said, 90 to 95 percent of the time, that's exactly right. So you don't have to change it. I'm just pointing that out so that if you want people that once they click on this, you don't want it to roll to the next page, which is like a thank you page. You would then put whatever the uh, URL is for the code that you want them to go. You would put it in here. but nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the next page in the funnel and that code is already there. So then once you do that, of course, you, you click on save. And then what that's gonna do is now, when that form is filled out in ClickFunnels, that information is brought in right here because that goal has been achieved, that web, uh, that sign up form has been submitted so that goal was achieved and that starts this whole automation running. It starts the whole sequence. Let me get that back on the screen here for a second. And of course, uh, so it, it starts this right here, this one sequence where it's connected with the arrow. So it, it starts, it first applies the tag that says that they did fill out that form and now you know where they came from, how they got into your CRM. And then it sends welcome emails and then two day, you know, you can do whatever you want. The purpose of this discussion is just to show you that the web form submitted in either Keep or Infusionsoft is a goal. And that goal can happen out here someplace other than Infusionsoft or Keep. And the way that we make that happen is through this integration setting. And we just talked about the HTML integration, but I mentioned that you could actually do a direct connection to your active campaign or some other CRMs. Okay, so that is actually everything that I had on my to be discussed list. And let me see, I don't know if anybody even knows that I'm live because it was like a half hour late. It took me a while to find it. Okay, all right, hi, Dinah. <laughs> I'm glad that, that it helps. I know, and it seems like it was not too long ago that we had a different issue with the uh, Facebook live streaming. So uh, I'm sorry that I was a little late doing this, but I am glad that I was able to figure out how to fix it for the time being. And also I got to show you what I wanted to show you as far as integrating, gathering data in fields in a ClickFunnels uh, landing page or sales page or some other construct in ClickFunnels and getting that information over to your CRM where you can now use it and set up automations and sequences and emails and what have you. Okay, so that was really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. And if there's no questions, I don't think there is, I will just bow out and I will see everybody next week. And I will try, I'll test this 10 minutes before one o'clock next week. So I'm not caught right at one o'clock finding out that it doesn't work, but it does work now. So if you are having that same problem, just remember go in to your group settings and go down all the way down to the bottom where the apps are, delete the Zoom app if it's already there, and then just re, uh, reconnect it because that's what I did and it worked. So hopefully that'll work for everybody. Okay, everybody, I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.